Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another VPN chat. Now, y'all, this right here, we about to get into some things, man. I am here with my my brother, uh, my college friend. He was one of the uh, he's on one of my very first. Not one of he was on my very first show, my very first web series. Uh, this is my guy, Cord Jones. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Happy to be here, man. I appreciate you. Hey, no, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, man, Cord Cord, Cord is definitely one of the OGs of Video Productions. Like he was definitely a part of the foundation of of my journey as far as becoming a content creator. I don't think he realized that. I didn't even know it at the time, but you know what I'm saying. You definitely is an OG and a part of the foundation. So I definitely am excited about having you here on this uh on this episode of VP and chat. Hey man, I'm excited to be here, man. I never thought I'd have the opportunity to be interviewed by you or talk to you on on your channel. So I appreciate it, man. Why, why you think <laughs> why you think that? Cause I mean it's been so long since I've been a part of any productions, man. You just been <laughs> doing your thing since like your your foot on the gas pedal since then. And you know, it's I'm just it was a pleasure being a part of that beginning, and it was just I just seen you rise to new new heights since then. No, nah, bro, man. Like that on here. <laughs> nah, 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 man. Like honestly, you are one of the first people from the from the Georgia State crew that I actually um, got to talk to on this platform. Um, I talked to Antoine on when I was doing Celebrate Excellence. I'm definitely gonna bring him on on this over here so we can actually get more in depth. Uh, about stuff we 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 been through, but yeah, man, no, of course, I always I always pay homage to you all, always no, because sure. you all, and I say this time and time again, like y'all weren't trying to be like y'all weren't trying to be actors, you know what I'm saying? Even though you did do some acting, y'all weren't out here saying like, all right, my whole ambition in life is to be an actor, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys were my, you know, y'all were my friends. And then, you know, I had this idea and I was like, I really want to do this series. And y'all graciously did it, you know, on top of all of our college responsibilities that we had to do. <laughs> Man, yes, yes. <laughs> and it's crazy because even like, and I go back and I watch some of this stuff, I'm just like, how do we do all that? Like, it was... Man. It was crazy. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> like, like we were in between classes, we meet up at spots all over campus. Shoot this scene here. Shoot this scene there. Like, sometimes we didn't even meet the person or know the person we were shooting with at that time. And then next thing you know, we got new friends and we got new people we hanging out with on campus after that scene. Like, it was just, it was a time, man. Yes, it was definitely a time for sure. Okay, so we gotta get. We got to go to the origin um, so we can let people know about our history, uh, you know, from the beginning. So I wrote this one act and it was called Dear Diary. And Dear Diary, for people who don't know, was based on one of my high school friends and um, her mother. Her mother was dealing with a divorce and um what my high school friend was dealing with at the time as far as graduating from from high school getting ready to go to college and all that good stuff so i entered that one act into uh the black student theater uh, ensemble at georgia state university they was doing one acts and so i submitted my mine in it got in i was super excited called like, yes i'm finally getting ready to get started on my journey to do this thing. I'm in because I'm in Atlanta, right? You know, so I'm, I'm from Augusta. I'm in Atlanta. I'm like, I'm here, and I knew that this was where I needed to be as far as trying to really take off. I just didn't know exactly how, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do that. And um, and yes, I came. I came a couple of nights actually, and Cord was actually in the one act. And um and I and I and De, and De, and um Demarius was in it too, and nope. yeah and it was it was I was just blown away to see my words 
be acted out on this stage. And for people who know, like a lot of my productions, I actually write and direct and produce. This is like one of the few times that I actually just wrote it and just, you know, let everybody else interpret how they wanted to interpret. And it was it was just so beautifully done. I thought it was I thought it was dope to actually see y'all, you know, bring those words to life. Man, look, I was starstruck because here I was a freshman at Georgia State coming off of uh, acting all throughout my high school career in theater and just wanting to keep the theater vibe going on in my life because it brought so much peace. Mm. So I auditioned for the play for Dear Diary. I think I was in a couple of one acts um, in that in that entire ensemble. I forgot the name of the other one that escapes me right now. But, um, man, like, acting it out, practicing it, um, just going through rehearsals, going through rehearsals, getting prepared for the show, and then getting introduced to the person who wrote it. So I'm I'm 18 years or yeah, 18 years old. Never have I met anybody who wrote a play, let mm-hmm. alone be a part of the play. So now I get to put the face to the to the name on this script that I've been rehearsing and, and memorizing. And I was starstruck. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was just amazed because I was like, "Here I am at Georgia State, and he wrote this. I'm acting it out. Like this is coming to life. This is and that's my first year in college. I'm like, man, I'm in a fairy tale, man. This is crazy. And that's just how that's just how I felt when I first met you, and and was doing that. I never shared that with you though, but yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's. You we you not about to have me cry on this thing, Court. I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was just man, it was amazing to me, man. I'm just being real. Oh man, um, I first of all, I remember when I first when we when I first talked to you, I didn't realize you were a freshman. First of all, I mean, because y'all, Court is tall, y'all talk like Court is taller than me. Um, and and you know, you just your uh your stature was a lot more mature than what your age was. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, when you told me you was a freshman and I was like, what? <laughs> um, so, so yeah. So like I said, it was, but it was, it was, it was just amazing to me. Um, again, I was just, I was just in awe and I was, uh, I was humbled that you all were, um, you know, you enjoyed, first of all, you that you enjoyed the script, but also it was just, again, just seeing you guys bring the words to life on that stage. It was just, it was just, it was an amazing, it was an, that was, that was an amazing time. It really was. Um, and then, uh, I went on with that script. I did, I, I kind of think, did I do the short film? I did the short film too, with that particular script as well. And then I did another one. Uh, it was called, the. Uh, the you did die with the Eugene Chronicles, and that is where like college days spun off from. And so I did that. And I know I did that short in my sophomore year. Then my junior year, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do the series. And I don't know if you heard this story before, Court, but uh I was doing it because I wanted to put it on Georgia State's uh television. Right, we had you had that broadcast, little student broadcast section that we had. And nope. uh, yeah, and um I wanted to put it on there. Just to, you know, just to ask some content or whatever. And the guy, the general manager, he was like, oh, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. He never checked it out. He never looked at it. And that was very discreet. That was my first, like, really my first, I guess, uh, experience with, quote, unquote, industry rejection. I mean, even though it was on the college level, collegiate level, but it was still like, it was like, dang, like, that's, you're not giving me a chance, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right. yeah, yeah, just, just give me a chance, man. Just give me a chance. Um, but my shout out to my homeboy Lamont uh, Johnson, he put me over the website and I was able to put the content on there. And, um, for people who don't know, Cord was not the original Anthony, um, on the show. Uh, we when I did the short film, it was somebody else playing that part, and then he wasn't able to do it. And then I remember Cord from the play, and I said, I think Cord can play this part and so i end up and and that's the first time i actually did because now i'm so known for 
keeping the same character and switching and, and switching actors. I do that all the time now. Um, I do I, I do the I do the MVP all the time, all the time. <laughs> if soap operas can do it, why can't you? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so uh, I hit Cord up and I said, "Hey, uh, I don't exactly remember what the message was, but I do remember saying I'm again about just enjoying your performance and asking you if you would do this series." Now, what was your thoughts? Um, when I first approached you about doing college days. So at first I was shocked because I've never done anything. I had never done anything on film. It was, I'd only been a theater kid. Just that's all I knew was, it was being on stage. So I was shocked and nervous because I was like, how will I feel it translate? Will I be able to, to bring the character to life the way that you wanted to, especially stepping into somebody else's shoes? Uh, again, I was the youngest one, so I didn't want to mess up anything for anybody in the upper class and what they had going on. And then my schedule was crazy back then because basically I was I was a commuter. So I lived in Gwinnett County. I uh, went to class and I went home. You know what I mean? Or I know yeah. at the time, no, my freshman year, I lived in Atlanta. That was before I moved back to Gwinnett. I was in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was I moved. So I was just going to class, going home, going to work. And that was my routine. So I was like, I was nervous about fitting it in. And so I agreed to do it because, you know, you got to take that step. You got to take that leap of faith. And that's just how I was raised. And so I want, I wanted to try it. And I remember after that first scene, man, I fell in love with it. I just fell in love with, with having to, to memorize that script, um, get my parts down, get that emotion, just bring that character to life. Um, it just broke me out of my shell even more, especially during that time where I I was the only child. So I kept to myself. I, I held out with my friends and my roommate and college was a new world for me. And you mm-hmm. helped me break me out of my shell and meet new people um, and, and get into new things that I never would have otherwise. Man, that's 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 cool, man. That's that's dope. Uh, um, I know I told you a lot in that answer, but <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we, we. Lo- I love that, man. I like I said, that's the whole point of even. That's the reason I even started doing VPN chat, man. Because it's like it's a lot of things when you talk about stuff and you're bringing up stories and old memories and stuff like that. It's a lot of things that I don't know, um, and a lot, man, a lot of things that whoever I'm talking to doesn't know either. Um, so yeah, that's 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 dope, man. I like I said for me. And I, and I I say this all the time, like I said, again, that's why I always pay tribute to you all, to especially the Georgia State crew, because you all just, I don't know, man, as, I'm, I'm speechless because I'm just, I'm, as as 38-year-old Carlton, I'm going back to thinking about what my mindset was back then, you know, just, just asking y'all like, hey, I got this show. And, and I like, just even think about it now, like it sounds crazy. Like, you know, I you, like, you got this college, I was a junior at the time. You got this junior, you know, asking his his friends and people he just met, like, hey, I got this show. Will you do this? And then like I said, you're asking people like you like I said, again, who don't have aspirations to really be in the industry. It's just either you're acting because it's something you like to do. Or again, a lot of these people just doing me a favor. <laughs> it was like, I'm your friend and I see what you're trying to do and I want to just help you do what you're doing. So like I am always just so appreciative of y'all because if it wasn't for y'all, I'll all this stuff back here wouldn't wouldn't exist at all without y'all. Like at all. Like so I just one thousand percent while I have you. I just want to say thank you. Um, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, am so appreciative of you taking the time. I just because, like you said again, like you, you, even like majority of the people they were they was living in the dorms. You, you weren't like you was like you said you were commuting. So like you that you just took the extra mile to voluntarily do something for somebody you literally just met. Hey, when the energy good, man, you just rock with it. Yeah. And we've been friends since then. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Been um, family since then. Yes, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, one funny memory. I remember 
when we was, it was the first season and we were shooting, I guess, the Christmas episode or whatever was going on. It's the episode where you were supposed to propose to, propose to your girlfriend. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and Jasmine, who played the girlfriend, she couldn't make it to the filming. And so I was like, well, uh, we got to film today. So I said, we're going to have you, I'm going to have you do it over the phone. And I'm going to, you're going to get, you'll get broke up and she's going to break up with you over the phone. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. We wrote that script on the fly. <laughs> on the fly. And we had the little flip phones back then, bro. It was little flip phones. <laughs> so we had to, we had to write that long message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I remember. Oh man, I was like, "This is the craziest proposal." <laughs> this man gonna propose over the phone and get and get broke up with over the phone. That's why I got broke up with. <laughs> oh man, hey, but we had to do what we had to do, man. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did, man. That that that. Oh man. Hilarious. Um, definitely you and um, you and Demarius. Um, you and Demarius, y'all, y'all scenes are uh great. I love y'all's chemistry together. Cause again, y'all weren't y'all weren't to play together, but then like mm -hmm. I said, y'all y'all did this, y'all did college days. Um, and and just I, it was just beautiful. It was beautiful to see just the brotherhood, um, between y'all. And obviously, it was it was natural. It was a natural thing because, like I said, y'all, you know, what I'm saying, y'all, y'all, y'all had that camaraderie, and y'all just brought it to the scene. Um, mm -hmm. What was, like I said, you did, you did, you did. Well, you did three seasons actually, because you did season three, sort of, kinda. I, I actually, <laughs> I actually, so I actually taped all of Core season three scenes while I was still in Atlanta because I graduated. Um, I graduated in 08, so I graduated before before you did, and yep. um. I was like, well, I'm about to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape your stuff now and then I already have it. So um just like I said, just I want you just to just talk about your 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 entire experience just overall for shooting, you know, just the beginning of that of the series. Man, so you made me expand on my acting. Like I said, I had done theater um four years in high school. Uh, my freshman year in college, and you really made me want to bring Anthony to life. So I remember the fight scene me and Demaris had. Yes. <laughs> man, I wanted that to look so real, so bad, man. You don't understand. It was funny doing it, but I wanted it to look real, so bad. And, like, the scenes we did when you came to my house um, in Gwinnett. Yeah. And we shot those, man. I took that so serious. Like, every scene I took serious, like, this was something i just i wanted you to put out good work and i wanted to do my part to make sure that you put out good work um and and i took it that's how i just took it serious and it was something that made me dig deep uh within myself especially in acting to to really try to bring this character to life for you mm -hmm. um and to do my fellow co-actors of justice so they would have something good to work with so that it wouldn't just be the, them working with somebody stale uh, yeah. And it was from my, it was just, I love to do it, man. It was fun. Like, like I said, I got addicted to it as soon as after that first scene. So it wasn't nothing for me to come and shoot a scene or go or drive back to Georgia State or meet up to do a scene or do a few scenes because it was fun for me. Like, it was, it was a good time. I got, I sit back and show my scenes and show this, the whole show to my kids now. Um, and when I can, I haven't shown the, I got, you know, I got five kids. They, 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 they kept coming there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so like the three to four and the one year old ain't seen it yet but my nine and 14 year old know what's up you know what i mean yeah so yeah yeah do you ever miss it like do you miss doing it man yes in a one short answer yes um I become I'm a creative like i i enjoy creating stuff so i've turned um what i used to do in acting and theater into writing. Um, do I share it with the world? Nope. <laughs> but I think I'm about to, I'm no, I'm, I know I'm about to break out uh, from that shell. Thanks to you, thanks to my wife, 
uh, pushing me. I literally just ordered, you know, some stuff to get, you know, uh, microphones and, and lighting and stuff to get things started because watching you, for instance, take what you do, the, the films that you make, take your poetry, take your writing, and you don't wait for anybody's permission to, to put it out or to do it. You just do it because it's what you want to do. It's what you're feeling uh, in your heart that you want to do. Like we, when we did that um, poetry collab, yeah, that was the first time, again, another first, the first time I had ever recorded and actually put something out there for the world to hear. Um, wanted to put my best foot forward when you came again and asked me, hey, do you want to be a part of this? This is the premise. This is the idea. Man, when I tell you I dug deep in my bag to make sure I gave you something that you would be proud of, because it took me back to that freshman year in college when you first asked me to be a part of college days. Another first for me, and I wanted to put out something that you would be proud of because you came to me and you asked me to do something for you. Just like when you asked me to write, uh, uh, be a part of the magazine. Wanted to put out the best articles possible because you asked me to do something. It was just off of the love, off of the strength of family. Mm. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Man, I like I said, bro, I, I just 1,000 percent like i said I, i'm gonna keep saying this bro i just appreciate you man like it's 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 wild to me um i'm about to get my back a little bit so uh, here we go get in it <laughs> <laughs> get in it <laughs> um when you when you watch growing up when you watch these shows on tv and um you know you see like like a different world uh or even like say about the build of college years. So just just basically you see these collegiate type shows and you think, oh, this is how it's gonna be when I go to college. I'm going to go to college. I'm gonna actually meet some like meet like my best, my actual best friend. It's gonna be my best friend for life. Or, or not even just best friend, my good friend for life or whatever. And you know, you know, it's it and it, it, it's crazy because when I when I came to Georgia State, um a few of my friends from high school, we all we didn't all go to Georgia State. We didn't all say we all go to Georgia State together, but we just so happy we were all gonna be at Georgia State. I actually roomed with two of the people that I went to high school with, I graduated from high school with. And so, but again, as you grow, you realize that everybody you start sometimes you just start growing apart and you know everybody start doing their own thing. And it was a time when I while I was in college that I just felt I felt lost. Like I felt like I, I felt alone. I felt like I just like I didn't have anybody. Um, and I guess I was meeting friends here and there, or or should I say acquaintances here and there, you know, or whatever. But it just I, again, I just kind of just felt. I felt like I was wandering, a little bit. And then like I said in the, the church I was going to, of course, I joined the college ministry. And again, and if, even people that's on college day, they were part of the college ministry too. But I still felt like I still felt kind of like I was wandering just because I never really felt like I had a connection with anybody that really understood me. You know what I'm saying? And so um, when I met you and then when I met Demarius, like things clicked for me. It was like, I don't know, it, just, it was just something like, like you said, the energy, um, y'all spirits. It was just something like I was like I, I really feel like all right these these are my guys you know what I'm saying and I remember like even I would even come to school early like just so I could like link up with you for like even if it was just thirty minutes like even before we went to class just to link up because like I said again I just I I finally felt like all right I finally found people that I, I really genuinely connect with. Cause because again, even the people, some of the people that I was going to the church ministry with, they was, you know, they was they was off doing their own thing and everything, joining sororities and fraternities and different things like that. I that I was that I tried to do that life and this I, you know, just the you know, I don't know, just something just didn't click for me with that. You know what I'm saying? So I just never Likewise. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I just never went forward with them. My guy that was trying to get me to do it. And I was just like, I don't think this I don't think this is my thing, man. I was like, I don't, I don't know. And the money, too. But, you know, that's another topic. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, man, I just I just really want to say, man, you uh, I think I think I don't know if I think I told you this before, man, but like I said, you you essentially you essentially saved my life, man. I just felt like because it was a time, it was so dark. I was just like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I I I appreciate you, bro. Like I'ma tell you what, man. Um whew, I'm gonna tell you what. God put people in our lives at certain times for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think at that time we were all looking for something. You know what I mean? We was all looking, we was all used to our routine, what we had going on outside of that, but we was looking for that real college experience, like you said, that brotherhood. Um and we all linked up at the right time for each other, for sure. I can, I'll say that. I'll say that for sure, man, because all the, the, the best memories I have, I partied a lot, right? I, I was always on that side of always throwing parties every weekend. But my best memories I have from college was filming with y'all. I mean... Those was it was just great times, man. You got to, it was it was no worries. We were free. Um, we had, we was walking around there filming where we wanted, like when we wanted, respectfully. It was just a good time. wasn't trying to get recognized by nobody. We were just doing what we loved. We were just a bunch of kids doing what we loved to do. Um, as if we was outside playing in the play in the in the park or something. But our park was making these scenes. Like we made it happen, man. Like from calling homies to use their 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 rooms to get different looks. Like we was moving all over that campus, man. You you set all that up, man. You set all that up with with little to no budget. I'm talking what all you we needed was a camera and your ideas, and we it made that thing come to life as if we had a million dollar budget. Wouldn't have known the difference, man. You. You would nobody would have known the difference, in in my opinion, as far as how it felt, what we went through, what what we what we brought to life for you. Like it was just, yeah. Just thank you, just thank you. Oh man, I uh, I appreciate you, bro. Like for real, like seriously. It's, like I said, it's just uh, I'm like getting older, and it's just like it with uh. <laughs> Teary out of anything now. <laughs> oh, I wish you, bro. Ever since I had kids, bro, I'm talking about the waterworks don't take long. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I like I said, bro, I I I just uh not only do I appreciate you on the creative side, like I said, just uh for acting and uh, the poetry and all that great the magazine and everything. I just appreciate you as a friend, bro. Like I know we don't really get to talk a lot because you know our schedules and everything, right? But uh, I I I love you, bro. And like I said, I just I just thank you for um, I thank you for everything, man. Like for real, for real, man. I love you too, bro. Um, man, you came and visited me after I had my first kid. Man, you came out to Houston, Texas, man. Like, like. It's it's just it run deep, and there's there's no man anything anytime just like before. Just call, I got you. I know my schedule. Be crazy as I'll get out, but I'm always have you, bro. Always, always. So I'm here, bro. Like like that. Nothing, nothing has changed over here. Like like I said, bro. Like I, what I'm just a phone call away, man. That's 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 that's. That's real, bro. That's Likewise, real. I think we'll ever change. We know that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so from your perspective, because again, you've seen, and I've had, and I've asked people this who who have who are who are actively uh, acting right now with or anything. From your perspective, how have you seen Britney Productions grow? Cause again, like I guess, I mean, like you're an OG. So from your, I want, I'm interested to know your perspective. Like from the outside, what have you, what have you seen? 
in these last Russell. yeah like the, the lady, I mean it's been it's been um well Man. we celebrated 20 plus we celebrated 20 last year so you came in 2006 with the web series yeah. so like what like I said I just want to know like from you like what did what did you like what do you, what are you seeing Look, man, I've seen exponential growth as far as from a from a man who don't take no for for an answer. Um, I remember when you started, like I would have never thought back then that your stuff would be streaming on on Amazon. Like I was able to show my family movies, not not just shorts, movies that you made. If you would have asked me back then that you would have been making movies that the world would see and you'd be going to award shows across the country, I wouldn't have even been able to know what that looked like. And to say, this is the homie, like, would have never even understood what that looked like, how to, how that thought process would have been back then. And look at all the, I mean, look, look behind you, man, all your work all the posters, the the respect that you have in the industry hurt my heart when you said you was retiring, but I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> um, but you still being a creative, so that's why that's why I, I ain't saying nothing about it. You still out there making what you want to make, and that's the thing. You're doing what you want to do. You're not being manipulated by anybody except God. And and that's hey, if anybody want to manipulate you, that's who you want to be manipulating. <laughs> <laughs> so man, the, the growth has been amazing. That from the outside looking in, I brag on it all the time. I literally brag on it all the time. My wife knew about it before she was my wife. We was just dating. I talked about you and what you was doing all the time. I shared it with my friends. Oh, I I did this with him. Look at what he's doing now. Share every chance I get, anything you got going on. The magazines I show, I show off and share. Like, look who he interviewed. Look at the people he gets to interview. Like, like these ain't no no slouches. He's this is real work being done. This is real content being made. And the quality of your of your work is just you can tell that you have twenty plus years in the game. This wasn't an accident. It wasn't fly by night. And being able to watch it, I'm just proud to have been been able to be a part of it. And that's 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 what that's what it's like from the outside looking in. I'm just proud of it because I was a part of that thing, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely, and, and and you and you'll forever be a part of it. Like again, man. Like there there is no there is no Victory Productions without you. Period. Mm-hmm. They, they, nah, if they, uh, they, without without the foundation, I say the foundation. When I say foundation, I mean the the beginning plays I was doing in college days. That's that's the foundation, and it would not be there would be no Victory Productions Network without that. Without such, and that includes you, bro. And you, so you will always be a part of it, man. Like it's. Yeah, that, that that yeah, that that's that's your 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 solidified in the history books of of what this company continues to do from here on out. And that's and that's, that's, that's the truth. Then when it's gonna keep going and going forward too, whatever that may look like or in the form of what it may be. Hey man, I'm down to keep working. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Let, and let me. Let me throw this out there before people come at me. Court did not mean that God manipulates people, guys. I know people gonna be like, uh, "What he be by that?" Oh, <laughs> right, man, listen. me and God, me and God talk different, man. I'll just let y'all know. <laughs> me and no, God I'm, talk different. I'm just saying, you know, you know, people, people, you know. I, I, listen again, twenty plus. I know how people are. Yeah. They be like, "What? What he mean by that?" So listen, what, all right, let me be my PR, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so uh, mr jones what do you have going on now what is what is what is life like for court jones now well um i manage so i live in florida so uh weed is medicinally legal here so i manage um, a dispensary 
mm-hmm. when I'm not doing that, you know, uh, working, you know, managing grown folks, I'm at home managing my five youngins. <laughs> and now just having the joys of being a dad, um, co-own a cookie company with my mom called Jones and for Cookies. Oh, excuse me. We just opened up our actual bakery attached to a coffee shop up in Vernon, Florida. Okay, Y'all, congratulations on that. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. And then I'm about to start my own, just doing some content creation. Um, you'll be seeing a few things pop up on that. I'm gonna talk to you and get some some ideas uh, for you off offline, of course. Okay. But um, man, just I'm I can't sit still. So so I'm I'm just continuously my wheels turning, and I'm always trying to do something. I'm training for a kickboxing match uh, in May, fingers crossed, and just uh, just keeping it going, man. Just showing my kids that anything is possible. That's that's how I'm looking at this whole parenting thing and this whole life thing, and why I keep dipping my foot and doing different things is I'm enjoying life by showing my kids that you can truly do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. And like I said before, don't take no for an answer. Um, and through God, and through prayer, and through faith. That's I've been able to walk that walk with them and, and show them that um, as long as you put God first, there's no reason that a no will stop you. People will tell you no five times. Keep going to God. Keep tapping that well, and you will get what you will get when you're supposed to get it because uh, your desires are God's desires as long as it's in line. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. I mean, I forgot about something. That we definitely got to talk about this because this is this was dope. You actually... Um, you actually made my brother excited. I don't know if you remember this or not, because he was he was real young. Remember when you and Demarius uh Demarius came to Augusta? Yep. And, yep. and um so we had this uh there was well it still it still exists, uh, but there's a Christian station here in Augusta. Well, it's it's in North Augusta, but we're just gonna say Augusta. Um and so I was doing an interview and they wanted me to do something like a, a live scene or something like that. So I was like, hey, we're going to take a scene from college days and we're going to do it live at, in, in, in front of, you know, the audience and do it live on, on the television stage. So I, I hit my boy, I hit Cord and, and, and D up. I said, hey, would y'all mind coming to Augusta and uh, and doing doing one of the scenes? I don't remember what scene we did. I cannot remember. But I just remember y'all graciously said yes. Um, y'all came, y'all stayed with me and my family. And yeah. I appreciate y'all. man, my brother, my brother loved y'all. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like he was he was so excited to meet y'all and everything. I, I just remember y'all really, y'all really interacted with my brother. I just I that's a fond memory that I remember. I just remember my brother was like, I love your friends, da da da. So it was that was cool. <laughs> hey man, you have to be a part of the family for that look for that. A couple of days, so man, I just appreciate that. Yeah, man, man, um, yeah. Like I said, y'all, um, I appreciate y'all coming down to Augusta. Like I said, I think that was real dope. Um, I remember we went to uh, IHOP with IHOP too after the performance. So that was cool. I think um, my brother was talking to y'all about the cheese sticks. Some I don't know. It's just like I said, it was just a lot going on with mm-hmm. my brother. My brother was like I said, my brother was just. I think he was excited to have me home, and I think he was like, "Oh, he brought two other people with him too." So it was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was just new people, and then he probably didn't, you done seen us on your show too. So it was just a good time, man. It was, and it was like me growing up, only child. I had a little brother for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, I'll bet. Dope. Like I say, growing up as the only child, you know, I found out I had a, a younger brother. Yeah, uh, well, when I was thirty-two, a few years ago. Yeah, man. Yeah, right up the street from me in Pensacola. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. I mean, not to dig too much, but like, how how was that going from an only child to like, okay, I actually have a blood re- like a blood sibling? Man, still navigating it to be honest with you, because I live my whole life as an only child. So now I'm trying to. We both trying to build a relationship with each other, uh, and we both have our families. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, we're not far from each other, and so I just gotta. It's both of us taking the time and making the time to 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 connect and link up. Like his, him and his wife have come for birthdays and baby showers. Like they've been blessings, and now he's in school, uh, I believe, to become a um aviation engineer. Okay. Um, like he and then uh, his wife's a, a nurse, Lord Lord Kate. 
uh, forgive me if I said it wrong or, or what you do, but she she do her thing or she up there, you know what I mean? Um, like both of them are very highly ambitious people. Um, that I'm I'm thankful that I found him. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I just gotta we gotta cultivate and build build on what we have started on on that relationship. And I'm excited for what the future holds on that. Um, Lord, you're gonna kill me for talk, for speaking on it, but I just I'm just just wanting to build that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, man. Well, um, bro, like I said, man, I am so grateful. I'm first, I'm thankful that you agreed to do this VPN chat with me, man. Like I said again, I am def- and I'm obviously gonna be reaching out to more of the college days, college days OGs. I definitely want to reach out to more of the Georgia State crew and talk. Um, because I mean, per- on the personal level, this has been a minute since we actually seen each other and actually yeah. talk. Um and like I said, man, it was just so great to to do this with you. I was I was looking forward to this all day, and um, man, I like I said, I just I just I, I appreciate you, man. I'm gonna stop again before my eyes start watering up again. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but not but, no, but honestly, bro, like I said, man, for for people who are listening, that's how deep my love run for this man, y'all. Y'all don't understand, like. Like, like this, this, this is my guy. Like, this is, this is my guy. These, are, this is one of the people that if he were to call me, like, you know, people know I don't like talking on the phone, but if he were to call me at three a.m., I'm going to pick up the phone. That's how deep my love run for this man. So, that like you, you, like, yeah, man. I, like I said, man, I just okay. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all that is reciprocated, man. It's, it's the same, man. Um you don't find people like that often and you hold on to your circle when you, when you build it, you know what I'm saying? If you got a good circle, you hold on to those people and and you love on those people and you build that village. Um, and, and yeah, we don't get to talk a lot as much as we want to, but it's like, when we do talk, it's like, we didn't even skip a beat, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's right back to where we was at. So that's, that's how you know it's, it's, it's deeper than, than just that friendship. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, all right, bro. I'm a, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna let you get back to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> you're right, Dad. Like exactly. Is that, I'm, and I'm gonna say this, man. I I like you like you wouldn't have imagined what I was like back then. I'm a, I was like when you told me you was having child number five. I was like, this man is is relentless. Hey, a lot of love running through this house, man. A lot of love running through this house. <laughs> I love it, man. Nah, it's it's a beautiful thing to see, man. Even like I said, when even with my own siblings, my brother has two kids, my sister has two kids. So it's just like, you know, it's 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 just it's just a beautiful thing to see, man. I I, I love seeing, I love seeing the the family the family grow. I think that's that's beautiful. So for sure, man. That's a hey, we gotta we got to go forth and multiply. <laughs> that, that's what the good book says. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, got to got to keep that thing rolling. <laughs> well, all right, everybody. Yeah. That is it for this VPN chat. Y'all look forward to more things with Court. Um, like I said, this will not be the last time y'all see him over here on Victory Production side. So we're gonna get some more stuff from him for sure. Most definitely, man. Most definitely. And I'm yeah. excited. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, y'all. That is it for this VPN chat. We'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. <laughs>